Well, it's the last weekend of April, and I'm going to start just a short hike this morning on my favorite section of the Foothills Trail. I'm starting off in uh, the Laurel Valley area. I'm going to walk over to Whitewater Falls. I'm going to do it in three nights. It'll be a pretty slow pace. We've got a short little road walk, and then I get on the trail and head down into Laurel Valley. This section of the Foothills Trail I'm on right now is going to take me down to the edge of Lake Joe Cassie. And then once the trail intersects Lake Joe Cassie, it contours around and this section completes up at Whitewater Falls. It's a beautiful section of trail that um, there are no paved access points between Laurel Valley and Whitewater Falls, so you get a nice wilderness experience. Could do it in two nights, but I got a late start today, so I'm going to stretch it out into three nights. Well, I just entered the Laurel Fork Heritage Preserve. From here, the trail is going to drop down to the creek and um, we'll be in Laurel Valley shortly. And I'm gonna camp down in there tonight. Then tomorrow morning, I'll walk out the rest of the way through Laurel Valley uh, till I meet up with the uh, Lake Jocassi. I'm all set up here at the Virginia Hawkins campsite. It's just past Virginia Hawkins Falls. I'm gonna get some dinner and head into the tent and call it a day. At 7 a.m. I've been on trail for about 15 minutes and had a good night last night. This morning will be a stroll through beautiful Laurel Valley.
Over my shoulder is the uh, campsite that's here at the end of Laurel Valley. Um, the last site in this campsite is right on top of uh, the falls. There are people down there right now, so I'm not going to walk in there. But when I get around this corner, um, I'll be able to point the camera back at the falls and get a look at those. Once you leave Laurel Valley, it's a steady climb up to a ridge line. Then we drop down into Gorgeous State Park and uh, go through the Rock Creek campsite area. Once you get up to the top of this hill, it's a nice ridgeline walk. So it even has um, cell service with Verizon. Just starting to get my first glimpses of Lake Jocassi. After the Rock Creek campsite, you get to work your way over Heartbreak Ridge. I just came down that. It doesn't matter what side of Heartbreak Ridge you're on, it's straight up or straight down. I'm down Heartbreak Ridge. I'm gonna continue on now. I'm just 0.5 shy of the uh, Tuxaway River suspension bridge. It gets a lot of boat traffic. I've been hearing boats on my way down. There's a nice established campsite there. And it's the uh, largest suspension bridge on the Foothills Trail. So we'll check it out. And in case you forget, it is the Foothills Trail, so that at the end of the bridge, you get some stairs.
I'm all set up in a small campsite. I'm cooking dinner now. All my chores are done. I'm just going to enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Well, good morning. It's about 7 a.m. The sun is just uh, lighting up the sky just a little bit. Um, I've been on trail for about 45 minutes. Had a good night last night. It did it did sprinkle off and on occasionally, uh, not a lot of rain. Um, this morning, my hike takes me around the northern end of Lake Jocassee. I'm working my way down a really nice grade right now, heading down into the Horse Pasture River. It's been a beautiful morning. Birds are singing, got a little bit of sunlight. It has sprinkled off and on, but uh, it's only lasted about 30 seconds. Forest Pasture River, complete with steps. The horse pasture runs directly into Lake Jocassee. According to the guidebook, that is 51 steps. Let's get it.
Well, I stopped at a small uh, dry site um, just at the top of the Thompson River Gorge. It's about 0.6 from here down to the Thompson. And uh, tomorrow morning, I just have 5.6 until I finish my hike at uh, Whitewater Falls. So I'm going to sit here and enjoy the rest of the afternoon and watch the sun go down. Well, it's 6.30. I've got my pack on. I'm about to start walking. First thing today is um, about 0.6 down to the Thompson River. And then it's a bunch of up and downs over to the Whitewater River. Well, I crossed the Whitewater River. I'm making my final push up to the Whitewater Falls parking lot. I'll go ahead and end the video here. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the trail.